Hi everyone, good afternoon. So let me share my screen. Okay. So like yesterday call, like we discussed about like uh, triggers, trip questions and scenarios, right? Like again, like we are going to discuss about some new topic like batch apex. Like what are the questions they will ask in your perspective on what are the scenarios they will going to ask in like batch apex classes, right? So let me share PPT. So here from beginning, okay. So what are the questions they will ask in batch apex, right? So we'll go with one by one. What is first of all? What is batch apex? First of all, what is batch apex? Like why we are going with batch apex, right? So for going to for batch apex. So like what is batch apex like why we are going with like batch apex right so we can call the apex code by creating the object for the class or if variable if variable are methods if variables are methods are static then we can call with the same class name right for apex for apex code the trigger will execute automatically for the dml operations so these are just uh, definitions of the, that one like why we need to go with batch apex means like if you want to execute apex code in a specific time okay so if you want to execute apex code in a specific time then we should write a batch apex, batch class the, the main purpose of batch apex should be like whenever we are going to execute the specific time so that time we are using like batch apex so batch apex we can process maximum of 50 million records at a time right so batch apex is a asynchronous executing feature context so while writing the batch class we should inherit database dot batchable is an interface so we need we need to we should inherit the database dot batchable inheritance sorry interfaces like so database is, database is a built in global class which contains inner global interface so this is the batch apex definition for that So what are the batch apex methods what are the batch apex methods so we have a couple of methods so we'll discuss that like since we have like uh, database dot batchable is an interface we should be implement the all methods prototypes declared in the interface right so while coming to uh batch methods into the batch apex like uh, so we have a start method so we have a start method executive yeah, start method execute method and finish method so these are the three methods while creating the batch apex okay so start means like it will be appear the records to process and execute only one time okay so execute means it will be take the records prepared in the start method and split those records into the batches and it will be execute multiple times for example if the start method is returning thousand records then execute method executes five times if you don't mention the batch size, I mean the default batch size will be 200, maximum batch size will be 2000. Okay, so finish method. So we can perform post commit logic like sending emails with the success or error information, it will be executing only one time. So in this finish method. So in this finish method. Okay. So how to schedule a batch apex? how to schedule a batch apps. to schedule the batch class we should write a separate class by the implementing scheduled interface so after writing the above mentioned class to schedule the navigate like develop it I and mean, go to develop and apex classes and schedule the apex so this is the navigation for creating the batch apex scheduled apex so by clicking on schedule apex button we can schedule the batch class through user interface note through user interface we cannot schedule in hours and minutes okay the syntax of the scheduled batch apex should be like global class scheduleable uses implements schedulable in between like flower brackets global wide execute and executable context and sc and batch uses be like uh, we are going to use these keywords and new batch uses and this is the syntax like batch is 200 that uh, database that execute batch and 150 max 2000 so this is the basic syntax of uh, scheduled batch apex classes okay 
so how to schedule batch apex in minutes and hours okay how to schedule the batch apex in minutes and hours to schedule the batch class in minutes and hours in a finish method we should use we should use system dot scheduled method which will take three parameters three parameters job name role expansion and schedulable class interface name respectively instance name respectively okay to schedule the batch class in a minutes and hours in the finish method we should use system dot schedule method which will take three parameters job name crone expansion and schedulable class inst uh, instance name and respectively okay so these are the uh, keywords we are using like how we are going to schedule the batch apex in minutes and hours so this is the answer so how to maintain the state between the methods of batch class so this is the interview scenario based question like uh, so how to maintain the state between the i mean state between the uh, methods of batch class so by default batch class is a stateless like we can say like variable uh, values which is stored into one method cannot be remembered into the another method right so to maintain the uh, state for the batch class we should inherit database dot stateful interface so this is the answer so like we have one scenario in in a senior list of in a set list of a mails are stored into execute method in the finish in the finish method that set c not having any emails okay what is the reason so just understand one more time like scenario in a set list of emails are stored into execute method so we have couple of mails that should that are showed into the execute method right in finish method in the finish method that in the finish method that set is not having any emails okay that set is not having any emails what was the reason the answer should be like by default batch class is a stateless right so emails which are added into set can be remembered can be remembered only in execute method if we try to access the set in finish method we won't see those mails if we try to if we try to access the set method I mean set in the finish method you we can't i mean we won't see the those emails in finish method if you want to see the access those emails that said we should inherit an interface called database stateful so if you use that database dot stateful then we can be able to see those all the mails into the set so this is the scenario based question they've asked and we have we have to answer like this so is it possible to call batch class from one more batch class is it possible to call batch class from one more batch class yes it is Yes, it is possible starting with apex saved using salesforce api version 26 so we can call database dot execute batch or system dot schedule batch from the finish method this enables you to start or schedule a new batch job when the current batch job finishes so is it possible that like for previous uh, versions like we can't call the database dot figula or system dot data database back from any batch of x method note that like version usually in the version of the running batch class the state or schedule another batch job so if the finish method in the running batch class calls a method in a helper class to start the batch job the salesforce api version of the helper class doesn't matter okay so the answer should be yes so we can possible like it is possible to call one job i mean one batch of x cla uh, class from the one other uh, batch of x class we can possible that by using database dot execute batch or system dot scheduled batch from the finish method so we can uh, call two times so we can execute that two times and we can uh, approach like two different scenarios one should be system dot batch batch i mean schedule double batch and one other, another should be like uh, database dot execute batch so these are the two keywords we can use for calling one apex uh, one batch class to another batch class so uh, is it possible to call future method from a database class no we can't call one synchronous process from another asynchronous process since update feature method and batch class are asynchronous so we cannot 
call feature method from the batch class or we cannot call batch class from the feature method so this is the answer how to cover the code for a batch classes to cover the code for the batch classes we should call the batch class from the inside of the test dot start test and test dot stop test right so test dot start test floor uh, open braces and close braces call the batch class from here and so we need to close the test dot stop test so we can cover the uh, code from code for a batch classes in test class levels so test class levels right okay so how many batch jobs can be active queued at a time so up to five batch jobs can be queued in a active queued or active okay how many job batch jobs five batch jobs like is it possible to write batch class and scheduled class in a same class you can say yes like by implementing the database dot batchable and scheduled scheduleable interfaces we can implement the methods in the same classes so it is possible it is possible it is not uh, remember to write write link this by the answer should be like by implementing the database dot batchable and scheduleable interfaces we can implement the methods in a same class so it is possible it is not recommended i mean recommended to write here like this it is possible but it's not recommended like this it's the best practices okay so these are the uh, scenario based questions they will ask into the batch effects and they will ask frequently questions into the batch effects uh, on topic okay so while coming to next other another video like they will uh, need to cover like about the test classes entry questions and uh, what they will ask in real time scenarios in test classes about those questions so we'll cover in next video thanks thanks for watching